supermarket chain Gelson's has launched a new convenience yes, store format. Yes, it has. Apropos, given we're at the National Association. At, where are we at? We're at where? Where? The National. Max. Oh, <laughs> it's like a buzzer in my ear. It's terrible. <laughs> All right. Back to Gelson's new <laughs> convenience store yes. format. According to Chain Store Age, the specialty grocer, which <laughs> operates 27 stores throughout Southern California, uh, they will debut a new concept called Recharge by Gelson's. Gelson's is partnering with electric vehicle charging station developer Rove to provide food and beverage services at its new charging stations and will offer a curated selection of foods, beverages, and convenience <laughs> items like we are seeing. How many times have we read that on this behind thing? Behind us. A, a selection of foods, beverages, and convenience items. I yes. think that's every new store format. Yes. Uh, <laughs> for those Rove customers as well as neighborhood locals. So Rove plans to build six locations in Southern California beginning this year with 20 stations wow. planned by 2026. Yeah. Um, back to your right market for testing um, yeah, this right. being mm -hmm. Southern California. What do you think about this move from Gelson's, Chris? Um, I, I think it's really interesting. Like, have you been to a Gelson's? No. See, I had not either. And the only time I'd ever been exposed to one was on, I think, Curb Your Enthusiasm with Larry David. <laughs> and I went to one, though, in San Clemente. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, not... San Clemente. Not San Clemente. Not technically San Clemente, but um, whatever the town is right below there that's escaping me. Newport. Laguna, Laguna Hills. Whatever. I don't know, but <laughs> I can't remember. One of those other much more... The you're reason I say that, it's very posh. Wherever it was, was very you're posh. You're going to need to know that as, yeah. a, as a resident. You're San going to Clemente. need to know that. Yes, yes. right. I got to start saying it right. But anyway, like, so, so it's a very posh place. It's very high end. It's yes. a baller store. Like, it is a great yeah. store. Um, it's one you want to shop. It's very inspirational. And so, like, it's a perfect match, I think, to be the first mover on this yeah. from an EV charging front because it's going to match up demographically there. And so what you have here is essentially the reimagining of the gas station experience, which is what I love because... That's what we're talking about. It's reimagining yep. the gas station, which is different than what we know before because EV charging, for those that don't know, takes longer to do. Mm -hmm. it, it requires a longer trip. So it's made for that grocery store type of experience or grocery store type of trip. Yeah. So it's smart for Gelson's particularly, given the demographic, to go into this space in the way that they are. So, so I love it. I can't, I can't wait to try it out. The only thing, I, I got to get an electric vehicle, and I do. Think, I think OmniTalk needs to procure Mr. Mr. Walton an uh, electric vehicle. Like the minivan you saw yesterday? Chris was like, is that yeah. a... S what kind that was of, a hybrid, though, What kind of van is that? Just because it was a yeah. hybrid minivan, it's still a still minivan, minivan. <laughs> Chris. Is that an SUV? Call a spade a spade. It's still no, a no, minivan. No. You just are really in love with the dad van. That's all. It was a Toyota Sienna ad. It was uh, awesome. Oh, my God. Um, okay. But what do you think? So I, I think, again, you look to London and to the UK and to Europe and what they're doing look there. Because they're already doing these kinds of things there. When I was at Shop Talk uh, Europe, I yes. interviewed... Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Tracy Clemens, the CEO of Convenience for BP, and she was talking about this, how they're already starting to convert stores into EV charging stations mm -hmm. and how they, they already have a partnership with Marks and Spencer's, another like higher end food provider in the UK. And they are continuing to expand that assortment to allow for the types of trips that you're charging. It's, it's no longer an impromptu three to five minute gas fill up and your Cokes and smokes and you're out of there. Right. It's now I'm planning this ahead yes, of time. hundred percent. I am reserving an EV charging station along my path, wherever I'm going. Now they're starting to get into food options. Offerings, which yep. we're hearing a ton about it next yep. like oh. everybody going in as tobacco it, sales go down now they have to figure out how yeah. to save that basket and they're going into food so it's a lot prepared of prepared food like prepared fresh food. prepared food yes. yeah yes so it's a lot of what we're seeing happening already in the uk and i think will have to come mm -hmm. as we see more and more ev drivers come through so you like this? You love it? Oh, I think yeah. it was. Yeah. We gotta try it out. I know. We gotta go see it. I can't I wait to go. Maybe we'll get maybe, a rental. Maybe Retail West. Hopefully, this is open by uh, Etail e West. Retail West. Retail. Retail. Retail West. Now, hopefully, by that it's open. But uh, 